What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and if you've been following me on my channel or Apple News in general, you'll know today was a very big day. Apple went ahead and announced the new iPhone 7 Plus and the iPhone 7 in two new colors, and they're absolutely gorgeous, jet black and black. So in this video, I just wanted to make a choice easier for you guys, because I know I'm gonna be choosing, I already have my mind set on it, but a lot of people are gonna be choosing between the 7 and the 7 Plus. They're gonna to wanna to choose smaller device or larger device. What's the difference? Is there a difference? There's actually several key points that you should consider when choosing between the 7 and 7 Plus. And I wanted to talk to you guys about those in this video. It's actually pretty simple, you know, not too much of a difference, but there certainly are some key points, namely, of course, that big dual lens camera on the back, of the 7 Plus. But other than that, there are a couple smaller ones. So let's get into that and I consider which one to get and why. But first I wanted to mention that you know, this was a pretty straightforward release. I was watching the keynote, really great keynote, except the end part. What the heck was going on there? I was just like, whoa, I don't understand art nowadays, whatever that was. If you know what I mean, the sea of music video, oh my gosh. But anyways, so uh, during the keynote, I wasn't surprised, you know, like we knew what was coming. Even the colors, the home button, the waterproofing, everything we pretty much knew in advance. And I thought that was pretty cool that all these leaks allow us to know beforehand. There's just no surprise anymore. But in any case, I was pretty satisfied with the release. It was very good. A lot of key points like the waterproofing, uh, the home button, better audio even. Better audio even. That's very good. And I was very happy to hear it. So let's make that choice easier for you, 7 or 7 Plus. First off, let's start off with comfort. This is something not a lot of people talk about, but I've used both. I've extensively used the 7 and 7 Plus, and I personally switched over to a Plus because of the display benefits, which I'll get to in a minute, but comfort-wise, forget about one-handed usage. Using this thing with one hand is a monstrosity. It is difficult. I have very long fingers. My mom tells me, you have piano fingers. Why don't you play piano all the time? <laughs> but even with my long fingers, I can't get my finger up to the top where it should be using that back button, and that's very difficult. So that's something to consider because of the wide phone, the wide bezels. This thing is not comfortable to use with one hand, but for most people, they don't care because all of the other benefits outweigh that. Also, the iPhone 7, like the 6S, is thinner than the Plus counterpart. So not only is this thing going to be easier to grip, it's also thinner as well. So it's a lighter, smaller phone. Now, the biggest difference for me is the screen. So on the iPhone 7 Plus, we're looking at a 5.5 inch display versus a 4.7 inch on the iPhone 7. Not that much of a difference, but the key difference here is resolution. So the iPhone 7 Plus display is gonna be a lot sharper. It has a 401 pixel density versus 326. So when you're looking at content on web pages, you're gonna make out smaller text much easier, details on photos, on videos, you're definitely gonna see a lot more of that on the iPhone 7 Plus. Now, both the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus do have that improved display with the wider color gamuts, which is nice, but the iPhone 7 Plus is just gonna be that much nicer. Now, the 7 has the very, very small advantage of having a higher contrast ratio in typical usage, but the iPhone 7 Plus, you just you won't even notice that. It's such a small difference. So I gotta give it to that on the 7, but in general, in almost every way, the 7 Plus display is better. So I think Apple learned something very important with the Plus models this year, and they finally implemented this. More power for a larger phone. In the past, Apple always put the same internals in the 6, 6 Plus, 6S, 6S Plus, and that's not very good because the larger Plus model has a larger display, more pixels to push, and it needs a little bit more power. This time around, Apple's putting three gigabytes of RAM in the larger Plus model versus two in the iPhone 7. So that means in day-to-day -day usage, you will notice that the iPhone 7 Plus will actually not hang as much, and I personally haven't even used it yet, so I can't tell you for sure, but it's hard to argue with the fact that more RAM equals more performance. And then there's the battery life. For me personally, this was my number two choice going with the larger Plus model. Battery life is very important, and on the iPhone 7 Plus, you're gonna be getting more battery life. So versus the 6S Plus, one hour additional usage, but in general versus the 7, you're going to get about a 10 to 20% increase in battery life because it is bigger, 2910 milliamps versus 1960. So the actual difference is about a 30% increase in size, but once you start factoring in the display, you know, the more intensive components, you're going to need that battery life. And even with that factored in, you still will be getting a 10 to 20% improvement as this chart shows. And of course, how can we forget the biggest difference between these two is the camera technology. So the iPhone 7 Plus is using that dual lens camera 
it has one wide angle lens and one telephoto lens. So the primary advantage of this is you're getting optical zoom. You're actually gonna be able to zoom in and keep clarity up to two times zoom. Beyond that, the iPhone 7 Plus has the advantage of going all the way up to 10 times digital zoom and that digital zoom in between still looks better than that on the iPhone 7. So the iPhone 7 can do up to five times digital zoom. But beyond that, having a dual camera allows you to take better pictures because it combines pictures together to get the perfect shot every time. You're gonna be getting a stable photo, better quality, just in general, dual lens camera has many advantages, one being optical zoom, one better quality, and Apple is touting a new feature called depth of field portrait mode. So you're gonna be able to take pictures that look just like this on a DSLR quality scale on your iPhone. What you're looking at is bokeh. So bokeh will allow you to get that blur in the background even when you're not really far away and zoomed in like you would on a DSLR camera. So this is an awesome effect and you're gonna be able to get it exclusively on the iPhone 7 Plus. There's a whole software feature behind it that analyzes the scene and blurs out the background. I thought it was a really, really cool feature only on the iPhone 7 Plus are you gonna get that. So again, the advantage is better zoom, better quality, and that bokeh effect with the portrait mode. And lastly is the price. So the iPhone 7 Plus has a bigger difference this year between the smaller and larger model versus last year, $119. Let's say 120 just to get it round. So last year there was a $100 difference. Does $120 justify a larger iPhone 7 Plus model this year? I say, Absolutely. I mean, hands down, yes. If you guys don't mind about the size, the comfort factor, that's the only detriment, I think, to the larger model. In every way, it is worth it. So that camera, the battery life, the processing power, I mean, it's only a gigabyte of RAM, but it'll help when you're using a lot of things at once where a usual phones start to hang, the iPhone 7 Plus should do a little bit better, but that's yet to be seen. So I'm just saying more RAM should equal more performance. And of course, that sharper, larger display, which I gotta say is beautiful. So to me, the display and power alone are huge. And then there's the camera. So all that factored in, I think $120 is well justifiable for the iPhone 7 Plus. Of course, comfort is a big deal for some people. Even those new features, those better features are not worth it when they're sacrificing comfort. But anyways, guys, just wanted to let you guys know what the difference is between these devices. And uh, hopefully you guys learned a thing or two after watching this video. But when it comes to these guys, I say definitely spend the extra dollar and get the larger iPhone 7 Plus model. It is awesome. Even from the 6S to 6S Plus, it was a great difference. So the 7 and 7 Plus should be even better. But of course, I will compare these in an actual real world test with cameras and all that as soon as I get them. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace.